In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts from the Trips Tight End formation in Madden 21. I'm going to be sharing with you how to run it and why I believe the Trips Tight End might just be the best offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and I haven't met you yet, I want to encourage you to subscribe. My channel is all about how to become the best Madden player that you could possibly be. And every single day, the way we accomplish that is through sharing with you different offensive and defensive tips and tricks that kind of give you the latest and greatest uh, tactics in the community. So if you want to stay up to date with everything happening on my YouTube channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe, and it also just allows you to be able to stay up to date with everything happening on the channel as far as the latest tips and strategies. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk to you today about this play uh, from the Trips Tight End, and I actually wanted to talk to you about a brand new offensive ebook that I just released for uh, my community, and that is my Trips Tight End Offensive Guide. Now, it's just the Trips Tight End. That's the number one formation that you're going to be basically focusing in on with this, but it's literally going to break down in detail how to run this offense. So today I'm going to be giving you kind of a sample play. If you like this play and you want to get the rest of the offense, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to be able to get that Trips Tight End Offensive Guide. But today we're going to be talking about the play Curl Flat. In my opinion, this is probably one of the top five plays in the entire game. Um, and basically a good rule of thumb whenever you're running Trips Tight End is you want to go ahead and make sure that you're always running your trips to the wide side of the field. It's going to allow you to use the most amount of space and the most amount of field possible. But basically what we're going to do uh, for our setup here is actually relatively simple. We are going to put our circle receiver here on a little smart route. We're gonna streak our X receiver, which is our tight end. And then what I like to do is honestly just leave it like this right here. And essentially it's just gonna be quick reads. But what you're gonna notice is that this circle receiver is gonna do a really good job at getting open pretty much against anything. Whether it's match coverage, whether it's zone coverage, it really doesn't matter, even if it's necessarily like, um, you're gonna notice here that I have my zone drop set. I have my flats on 30 uh, or 25 yards, uh, just to kind of help with the, the defense. And what you're gonna notice here again, is that you can see if they take away one side, they're not gonna be able to take away the other side. So you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to hit, you know, really both sides of the field at ease. Now, if they run some cover three on you, you're gonna notice here that this circle receiver is going to get absolutely wide open on the sideline. As you can see, it's a nice, easy read. Now, the next thing that I wanna share with you is man-to-man -man coverage. So if you have not um, faced a lot of man-to-man -man coverage before, uh, this little route to the R1 receiver is really, really, really good against man. As you can see, it gets wide open, easy separation. What's really cool about this is that you're basically gonna have a little bit of a crossing action. You're going to be able to essentially cross your um, your players. And so what that's gonna practically look like is if they are running main to main coverage, you can, there's a little bit of a window to hit that circle receiver right there. I needed to wait um, for him to get a little bit more over onto that side of the field. But here you'll see on this example that I'm about to show you kind of what a press man type situation would look like. You also are gonna be able to throw this low ball curl route with relative, um, with relative great results, in my opinion, it's just a very good and very consistent route. We'll show this to you real quickly against the cover two. But this, the beauty of it is you're, one of the curl, either the curl route or the flat route is going to be open and available to you, you know, pretty much nine times out of 10. So not only do you have this really good crossing route and this really good angle route, but you also have a nice little check down concept that is super consistent that you can use to be able to beat pretty much any defense that they're gonna have in their disposal. Now, as far as your tight end goes, he's mainly a clear out route, but what people will do from time to time, especially if they press out of this and they put maybe that left or that right side guy on an outside quarter zone to try to help a little bit, what you're gonna notice is that he's gonna get very good separation up the middle of the seam, just like that right there. Um, as you can see, very consistent read. Now, I'm gonna give you one other setup that I actually really like out of this. This is especially effective for people who like to run a lot of match coverage, uh, really just a lot of cover four in general. If, they're, if they like to run cover four, this would be the, the setup that I would recommend. But basically what you're going to do is you're gonna put that triangle receiver on a fade route, and you're gonna put that square receiver on a little out route, as you can see right here. That's what it's gonna look like. And you're just gonna have a lot of opportunity to hit this R1 route. It's gonna come open very deep down the field. As you can see, it's gonna have very good spacing. 
The bottom line, guys, is that the trip side in is one of the best offenses in the game. And if you want to learn how to run it to its fullest potential, I would 100% recommend that you pick up my trip side in offensive guide. Um, it's just $10. Literally, it's just $10, and you can get the entire trip side in offense. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description, and I want to thank you for watching today's video. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up via text message. My number is 208 218-6900. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you want to get that trips tied in offensive guide, I'm going to have a link in the description for you to be able to pick that up.